we've talked a lot about the controversy over President Trump's Salute to America event, but another 4th of July celebration is causing debate of its own. Nike released and then pulled sneakers with the Betsy Ross flag on the back. You remember that. We talked about it a lot yesterday. Well, critics say the flag featuring the 13 colonies, it's offensive because the, it's tied to the slavery era. Supporters believe that flag is patriotic. So let's get some co context here. Our Jess Arnold sat down with a historian for that. For more than a century, the Betsy Ross flag has been a symbol of patriotism, the alleged first flag of America during the time of the revolution. Historians, of course, say that's mostly a legend. But as Nike recently realized when it tried to release these sneakers for the 4th of July with the Betsy Ross flag on the heels, for some, it's a symbol of slavery. It's a very um, popular piece of American uh, symbolism or iconography. And this is a new twist, really, um, that somebody would latch onto it and say, yes, because it's associated with, with the, the, the founding of our country and the country as founded was a slave society, uh, that it has this new meaning. But the point is, um, the meaning of a flag or, or any other symbol is not, is not uh, frozen in stone. It, it'll change. And that's what's happening here. So you mentioned that it's kind of ironic that this is the flag that was latched onto as being related to racism and the Revolutionary War. Can you explain why? Yeah, that it really isn't a flag that was used during the Revolutionary War, but everyone thinks it is. Peter Ansoff, who serves as the, the president the of the North that, American uh, Vexillological Association, that's, that's which studies flags and their significance, says the true Revolutionary War flags looked more like this, with 13 eight-pointed stars in rows, not five-pointed stars in a circle. Plus, he says you can find the Betsy Ross flag displayed everywhere, from department flags like Veterans Affairs to on the Capitol at the last few presidential inaugurations. Here's a shot from President Obama's 2013 ceremony. Look there, right on the ends, the Betsy Ross flag. At the end of the day, he says it's up to historians to document and study changes in meaning of symbols like this, not necessarily define them. But what do you think? I have a poll on my Twitter, so let me know at Jess Arnold TV. Jess Arnold, WUSA 9.